suppose, um, really just to try and set the scene, um, we spend in this country something like um, £110 billion pounds on our health service, um, which is a huge amount of money. Um, but the gaps between those people who are the healthiest and those who are not very well are getting bigger, not smaller, which is, is you know, pretty much a tragedy, really, given the amount of money that we're putting into the health service. Um, and I think we're seeing a rise in what we call um, are calling 21st century diseases, things like obesity, diabetes, people suffering from depression. Um, but on our doorsteps out here, we have a resource which we can use to help us tackle some of those things. And that's really what the Natural Health Service is all about. Um, right here, you know, right here in your community, in your backyard, you've got parks and woodlands and open green space and things like that, which we can use to sort of get people out, being more active, enjoying the natural environment. Um, and we've got lots of evidence now um, from our Walking for Health schemes, but also some of the research that we've been doing, which shows that um, actually just even sort of simply being close to and being out in the natural environment has tremendous health benefits of all sorts of, all sorts of things. I mean, I know I'm, I'm really lucky because I live near a, quite a big park in Warrington. Um, I'm also a bit of an outdoor junkie, so I'd like to be outside as much as I possibly can. Um, but my job does actually mean I can't do that very often. And I know just even just going home after work and walking, you know, 20 minutes through the park makes me feel so much better and helps me deal with all the sort of stresses and strains that this job brings. And, and it's fantastic. And I think, you know, I personally feel that everybody should be able to do that and sort of feel confident about getting out there and enjoying things that are on their doorstep and then helping, helping themselves through their health. Um, so... You know, the idea behind the Natural Health Service is that we make better use of that natural green space that we have out there. Um, and we're, we want to try and aim to get um, people to have access very close to home to good quality um, accessible um, space that they can go out and enjoy. Um, but also the idea is that we get GPs and, and community nurses to prescribe getting out and doing some activity um, rather than prescribing drugs. There are so many things that can be solved by a little bit of gentle, moderate exercise a few times a week. Um, and um, we have, again, a lot of evidence to back that up. I should say that we're here today um, with a great partnership in, in Knowlesley and Liverpool. And I should say I'm very sorry that we are in Knowlesley, not Liverpool, as we said in the invitation, um, which is a bit of a faux pas on our, our part. But um, <laughs> here in Knowlesley, where we're going to be doing the, the walk, um, but we have a fantastic partnership with the Liverpool and Nosley um, PCTs which have helped us set this project up and we're really, really grateful for all the help and hard work um, that they have given us. So finally, just to sort of explain what's happening nationally, um, this, is, this is a launch of a really fairly <coughs> major new partnership with the Department of Health. Um, they've provided um, several million pounds of worth of funding, which means that we can now expand our Walking for Health scheme, which is one of the major routes through which people can get out and start to enjoy the natural environment. There's a lot of information on the website, um, there's things in your pack, the, the, the manifesto around the Natural Health Service is there, all the details about it in, in that pack that we've given you this morning. So I'd encourage you to have a look at it and have a look on the website and see what resources are available. So that's really all from me. Um, I hope you have a good morning, and I'll now pass to Councillor Connor from Nosley. Morning. Um, on behalf of Nosley Council, and as the, the council <coughs> member for Leisure, Community and Culture, I would like to thank you and say, nice to see you here today. This is a, a very important and timely event organised by Natural England. And as some of you may know, um, Nosley is two thirds green space. And in that green space, we have things like country parks, uh, community woodlands, uh, local fishing lakes, and allotments. <coughs> uh, a high percentage is, um, is a, this high percentage is significant and positive feature for our Liverpool regional so-called green infrastructure. A key component of the council's ambition in Nosley is, is to make it the location of choice. And as such, we understand that the good quality Accessible green space benefits the residents, businesses, uh, visitors in, in a number of very important ways. Um, we have the amenities and the leisure it provides. We have a clean and safe environment. Um, it's the support there for the climate adaptations by acting as a, an urban coolant. And there's also, which is really important, is the health and well-being, which is why we're here today. Uh, Nosley Council's um, green space 
are recognised throughout the country, by the way, but as some of the best there is. I mean, last year we had eight green flags and were awarded um, by Keep Britain Tidy for the high quality of our parks throughout Kirby Heighton and um, including the park we're in today, by the way, can I say? It's a, it's a beautiful area we're in. And also, um, our Play Pathfinder programme, which has recently been cited as a national trail, uh, trailblazer by the government's um, children's and family and schools departments, it just shows you the, the effort that Nosley is trying to put into our green space because we do find it really, really important. Um, but what does all this practically mean for our, the, na the natural health service? I do apologize, I keep going to say national, don't I? <laughs> I'll get used to it eventually, probably next week sometime. Um, uh, we have, we're, Corte Park is a wonderful green space which runs many programs uh, health, for the health and well-being. Some of them like the cardiac uh, rehabilitation walks. And we also kite making and things like that. So it's, it, it is really important that we get people out into the, into the open spaces, into the green space that we have in Nosley. Um, and the thing is that we, we do that with the help of some of our, our partners. And our partners are the NHS, no, Mersey Forest, Groundworks. We are also really pleased that, that this is the borough of the National Wildflower Centre. A centre of excellence for flora and biodiversity, as well as you all know, is a, this is the reason that we're using this place today. So all I'd like to say is, I hope that you really enjoy the walk. When you get around this park, you'll see some wonderful stuff. Um, we've got to, uh, not just the sunken gardens and the um, our little bits of Gladstone's ruins, or Gladstone roots, I think we call them at the time. <coughs> but uh, like this is saying, getting out in the countryside, it helps you get over this, especially now over this Christmas period. It helps us get across this. You've only got a few mince pies to worry about, so I've got a few Christmas puddings I've got to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, I hope something good comes out of it, and I know it will. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>